statistical methods cannot be used without data. Data is known as the raw material of statistics. Data is the collection of facts and figures, which can occur as a process of some measurement or counting or any other observation. Let's take a few examples. When in a hospital, a nurse makes measurements like weight of a patient, let's say it's 82 kilogram, and she also notes down the body temperature of a patient, which is 100 degree Fahrenheit. Or when a hospital administrator counts the number of patients discharged in a day, let's say it's 20 patients. In all these three information we obtained, each single individual observation is called datum. Whereas collectively, all three are called data. We want to keep this thing in mind. The data is a plural term, whereas datum is a singular. So data is always a collection of facts and figures. There are two different types of data depending upon how we collect them. The first type is known as a primary data. Primary data is called the raw data. This is the first hand information that's obtained for our study. Let's take an example. When a patient visits a hospital, doctor or nurse take the vitals from the patient. When the vitals are obtained directly from the respondent, then it will be called the primary data, which is the raw information, first-hand information. The other type of data is called secondary data. Secondary data is such sort of data that has already gone through certain statistical procedure or a process of making tables, or it's been organized in a certain way. Most of the time, secondary data are obtained from different sources where they have already con collected the data for a different purpose. As an example of a secondary data, hospitals keep the medical records of the patients. If we take vitals of any patient from the hospital medical records, that will be considered as a secondary data because it's a secondhand source. Primary data is obtained from multiple different sources. We can conduct surveys to obtain the first hand information. We can perform experiments. We can conduct interviews or make personal observation. Nowadays, it's very common that our data is in the form of images, like the results coming out of MRI or CT scan. And there are a lot of other examples, a lot of other ways we can collect the primary data. Similarly, there are multiple sources for the secondary data. And especially in Pakistan, we can contain, we can collect the data from the medical records. In Pakistan, few hospitals have started keeping electronic medical records as well. We can also obtain data from Punjab Cancer Registry, then from MIX survey from the Bureau of Statistics, UNICEF, and there are a lot of other open data sources, repositories where you can access a lot of data. Then there are a lot of biomedical data repositories where you can get the data from about SNPs, genes, and a lot of genetic information, like Thousand Genome Project. Then another source of secondary data is World Health Organization. And definitely different ministries, health in Pakistan. 
these are the organizations that keep a data in a very good form that can be used for multiple purposes and carrying out the statistical analysis.